Hello everybody, my name is AARON3608, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to complete Womp's Fortress 100% um, for Banjo-Kazooie Stay at Home. This is for a 100% speedrun, which is still kind of in the works, um, but this is our current and latest route that we have. Um, so, the first trick we're actually going to do is called DDA, which for those who are unfamiliar, stands for Demo Desync Adventure, which is where we're going to take Banjo in the demos and cause him to die in the cutscene. Not cutscene, but the demo. And he'll respawn in this, like, fourth file, and we'll have 100 eggs, 50 red feathers, 10 gold feathers, and 25 mumbo tokens. So we don't have to go around trying to collect a bunch of consumables. Um, so as soon as I select the file, that's when the timer would start. Like that. And then we're going to save and quit as quickly as possible. So that was pretty good. Um, and then we will wait out everything. Alright. And what we're going to do, when the screen goes to complete white, we're going to, um... After the screen, after the screen goes completely white, we're going to hold start. There we go, hold start. And Banjo is going to jump off over the fence and ground pound, killing himself. Um... And by the way, don't mind the sub goal and 3 out of 15, that's for Twitch. Um, but yeah, so where we'll start off is we're gonna roll, jump over, break this brick. And I missed that net. I'm bad. And we're gonna use a gold feather and that in real quick. And you can see we have 100 eggs, 50 red feathers. We're supposed to have 10, but I used one. For gold feathers, and we have 25 mumbo tokens. That'll help a lot throughout the run. Then we're gonna come over here, buff, collect these five notes, jump down, collect the gold feather. Then we're gonna roll, jump, and ground pound. Get this note, and we'll be on our way. So, the next trick here if you really feel like you need the help, you can ground pound instead. But we're gonna hit the whip crack, and we'll go against the wall, and then we can roll and jump over to use the shot pad without having to actually kill the whip crack. It'll look something like this. Like that. Um, if you really feel like you need the help, then you can get near it, ground pound, and then jump. So, you do either. Or you can use a gold feather and kill the whip crack. Your choice. Um, but once we do that, we're gonna jump and collect all these notes. And I'm supposed to be on a cycle here, but it's all messed up because I've been stopping for daily purposes. Oops, don't. And then we're gonna jump over here and collect these notes. And then that clip up here to make the cycle. My cycle's all messed up. Pause pausing and unpausing. Uh, then we'll jump over here. Watch out for that ground line. Get this note. And now for these ledges, there's gonna be a vent that blows smoke. As soon as it does, quickly make your way up the tower. So, go off. Jump and move camera. But you can keep jumping and moving your camera and you won't get hit. Now we're gonna jump up here, and there's this question block. You can see up there. Oops. We're going to roll into it, but have our camera centered, so we don't have to actually break the block. Oh, for some reason that didn't work. There we go. And I'm in critical condition, so <laughs> I need to be careful. And you can roll into this block with a jiggy. And jump down, break this brick. Watch out for this time. Over here and get these notes. 
get this brick, I'm gonna kill the grub one. I need help. I'm gonna get these three notes. And then, I'm gonna gold feather the whip. Now, I'm gonna create a save state. We're about to start a flying section. I'm gonna go through it very slowly, and then I'll go through it quickly. So, first we're gonna get on the flight pad and kill the snowman and get his jiggy. Snowman. You can either go nose down, which is faster, or feet down, which is safer. If you go nose down, you can accidentally land. We're gonna skip the text and two spaced out flaps. Let's do that. We're gonna lean for this jiggy. And two flaps. And keep on get the note. And then beat bomb over to the Jinjo after one flap. And then get the Jinjo. And then we're gonna do a beat bomb through the cage. We're gonna get in the middle, and once you're in the middle between the two bars, you're gonna beat bomb. Oh, well, I have to restart. The snowman hit me. I wouldn't have enough help. So we'll go over it again. Get to the flight pad. Hit the snowman. You can go nose down if you want, but it can be risky because you can land by accident. Try to get that health. It didn't work. Then, get the jiggy. I don't know why I used three. Okay, so I got the note. Get the and now, you're gonna land or aim for the middle of this cage and beat bomb. And you'll get the you'll get the jiggy. So I'm actually gonna create another save state. So to get out of this cage, you just spam A. Then you'll flap out. So then quick dive down here. Get this note. And then we're gonna get this block. And get this guy. So now we're going to center the camera this way so that you're able to go not do that so that you're able to go in a straight line to get that note so you'll just look this way aim not die hopefully oh my god dude We'll be able to get that note in a straight line, and then up on the carpet. Up over here, two camera presses, and you should be able to get this note without readjusting your camera. As long as you didn't change your camera on the carpet. And then get these four notes. If you need it, grab help. Very important. Get this note. And now we're about to do the 2D section. I'm gonna create another safe state. Alright. I'm gonna go through this section slowly and then do it all again, just like the flying section. So you're going to ground pound in between these two blocks, rub up, I messed up, but you want to get these two notes, and then rub up against this block. You can rub up against it and get that note, I'll show you. See now I have 58, and then break these two, you should have 60. Two jumps. Wait for the camera to pan, and then get this note. Big jump over that grublin. Short jump heck. Get these two notes. Hop up. And you can get these four. Go back up. And then you want to do a short jump to get this note. This one. You can jump under that block to get that note. Watch out for grublins. You'll want to peck this one every time, because he's annoying. Up. And then flip flap up here and over here. If you happen to miss like that, you can do a backup where you come over here, roll and flap, and you'll get it every time. Roll down, jump, ground pound, get the honeycomb, 
hold straight right, you'll get this node. And then jump for this one. And then jump under this. And then a big jump. That's he, he's in the way, start to lean back. You need to get on this pipe, you're gonna face this way. Hold A and then hold right. And you'll get on the pipe. Just make sure you're not under this part because you'll get caught. And then jump over here. Skull feather. Land. You can see there's like these two, these three sets of two. Land all the way over here so that the camera will land. And then do two big jumps. So you can land on there and get the notes. And come up here. You can do a big jump over here and you don't have to wait for that platform. And then we'll see what this one up is up to. So I got lucky there. Sometimes you have to wait for the platform. But then one, two, three, four, five. And then peck, and then come over here and flap. I'm gonna go over all of that again. So I'll do it really fast now. Sometimes you'll get the note before, or like as you peck that block. All RNG. Well, not RNG, I guess, but it's just how you hit the box. The boxes are confusing. But I'm trying to do this as fast as possible to show you what, like, a real cycle would look like. That Tihi was not in the way. Good. Jump over here. Land on these three. Or those two. Sorry. And then camera will pan over. Land. Get these three. So this is what... That's what the platform was would normally do. Just wait for it to start going back up. And then you can land on it and wait to go back up. Jump, and do one, two, three, four, five short hops, peck, and flap. Spam A as you're coming out of the pipe, flutter, jiggy. And then you're gonna get in Talon Trot and peck over. And you should land in the pipe. Like that. Two C left presses. Roll, jump, and flutter, and roll into the block. Get that jiggy. <clears throat> C right once. Come down your flutter. I missed it, so I have to put that in. And then, we will jump up here to get these notes. Peck is a gold feather. You jump and peck and roll. So you can get to this block. Grab the extra life. We'll need it. Right, that floor. Grab these notes. You can get them all jumping, but it's hard. Here. So, we're about to set up a death warp here. You optimally need two health, and I have three, so I'm actually just gonna have to hit by Oh, I'm gonna have four, so. I'm gonna hit by him too. Just make sure you have two health by then. If you have two health by the time you get over here, then you would gold feather these boxes. Then, you'll jump down here. Hand the camera right twice. So now we're gonna hold straight up and then straight down as we jump back. And you shouldn't get hit by the chompa. I'll make a same mistake. Like that. Make sure you don't turn left, otherwise you will get hit. I'll demonstrate what that looks like. But yeah. Basically just straight up, straight down. And you shouldn't get hit. Then now time to get the last note. Break this block. So you can get the last jiggy. And then you want to get in the talent trot and jump straight up, big jump, get the jiggy and go to the floor. Because the chunk will bite you. You skip the text. And you would enter the pipe, but I'm gonna leave the tutorial here for the next level. Which will be DK Isle, so that video should be coming out soon. If you have any questions about DK Stay at Home, there's a link in the description below to the official Discord where you can ask any questions about the game. 
um, for future routing and things like that. So, uh, yeah. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.